So now that your graph is completed from question number five, you're going to be able to answer questions number six, seven, and eight. Number six says, how do the graphs help you to compare costs? What is the steepness of the graphs? More expensive product compared to the steepness of the less expensive products. So what you're going to do here is just take a look at your coordinate lines and see um, what the graph can show you, right? It says, the first part of this question says, how does the graph help you compare costs? Well, obviously the cost of the nine pack box of goldfish is increasing much faster than the cost of the big box. The more big boxes of goldfish we buy, the more expensive it is, but it's not nearly as expensive as the nine packs. So we're looking specifically at what the graph can show you so at certain points, right, like when we all bought 750 ounces of goldfish, what was the data there? Maybe when we all bought 400 ounces or just 100 ounces or just, you know, 50 ounces of goldfish. What do those different points on the graph show you? So how can you compare the cost just by looking at the graphs? Also, it says how does the steepness level of the graph's more expensive product compared to the steepness of the less expensive product. So obviously the more expensive product is the nine pack, while the less expensive is the big box. How does the steepness of that graph change, right? When you think of steepness, think about um, like sledding down a hill. When you have a steeper hill, what happens? When you have a less steep hill, what happens? Or even going up a hill. So that's really what it wants you to interpret. It's just the steepness of the graph and make some observations. This is not a mathematical question, it's more of how you view the graph and interpret it. 